people. Okay, welcome everybody. The stream has now started. And we're going to be playing some Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition together. And, uh, sorry if the volume's a bit, uh, well, hopefully we can hear me and everybody else okay. Um, but let's start by introducing everybody. And uh, let's go with Simon, your character first. Okay, so I'm playing as a Pipero Deyadi, and I am a human uh, fighter. And you know, my personality traits are that my flattery makes others I talk to feel wonderful and important, and I don't like to get dirty, and I don't like to get an unsuitable accommodation. But yeah, interesting guy, just Pipero Deyadi fellow. Um, yeah. yeah, so he's playing a fighter specializing in the great axe. Okay, and Kevin, you want to explain your character? Sure do. All right, I am playing as Roderick Fraser. I am a halfling rogue. Um, I specialize in stealth. Um, and I've got a bit of a background of a criminal. Um, pretty... Uh, Strong-headed character type. Uh, never really have a plan, but just go charging on into things. And yeah, that's uh, Roger Fraser. So here's a picture of him. I'm showing everybody the picture of each character. And next is uh, Jacob character. Okay, I'm a Cobbeth Big Tree. I'm a uh, Wood Elf Ranger. Uh, I specialize with a uh, longbow. And I also have a, a javelin and hand axe for close combat. Um, my personality traits, I'm driven by um, the woods and the outdoors. I don't really like to be in big cities. And that's pretty much me. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, Evan's character? Uh, my character is Actus Tepeshian. And he is a, a dra uh, dragonborn uh, cleric from a noble family who is uh, very much into making sure that he doesn't allow his you know, noble birth to make him look down on people. He's uh, very dedicated to looking after those less fortunate than himself. Okay. And we have one player missing tonight. Uh, my friend Vinny couldn't make it. So his character will be played by Evan. And his character is Magnus Northman, which is a half orc, a warlock, uses magic given to him by an old unknown god. And uh, yeah, he's a very, very nice guy. He, his background is he was a folk hero. People thought he was weird because of his half orcish nature and looks quite evil. But he's a peace hearted kind individual. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, that's it's the half work Magnus Northman. So yeah, that's all the characters. So we just last session reached uh, level two. Um, they haven't taken a short break yet to gain the benefits of level two. But they will soon. So I'm going to explain quickly uh, the previous story about what's going on. So, previously on Tyranny of Dragons, five adventurers went uh, on a quest and they all met at a tavern in a far off city. And they realized they were all heading towards the town of Greenest in the green fields. So after talking, they decided, why not travel together? So they went on the road, traveled for weeks, bonded as friends, but not close enough friends to tell each other why they're heading to Greenest in the first place. Because you see, they all have a secret reason why they're going. And so they walked up to the top of the hill and were expecting to see 
in front of them a lovely town, Greenest, but instead they saw houses on fire and an entire town under attack by raiders, hundreds of raiders, as well as a big dragon flying overhead. So they all decided to enter the town and they saved a few villagers, saved a woman and, and her husband and children, got into the middle of the town where the keep is, the main central keep, and met uh, this nice governor of the town right here called Governor Nighthill. And he explained that the town's under attack. It's not the first town that's been under attack. He also showed the characters far away, a guy named Mondarth. Stay away from him, because he will kill you right away. And another guy, kind of the military guy in charge of the, of the keep, a dwarf, with red hair named Escort the Red. And he's the castellan of the keep and he's kind of a scruffy, not mean, but kind of rough character. And after letting them know that the sanctuary in the town was under attack, they rushed under the keep to the secret tunnel, was able to not attack a group of raiders, and they didn't get spotted, killed some rats, brutally murdered the rats. That was hilarious. And uh, got to the sanctuary and was able to get everybody out as quickly as possible, kill a cult general, and without anybody going unconscious, getting out six Villagers did die, but that's not very many. They were able to save 15 others. Got back to the keep, through the secret tunnel, and that's where we left off. So, let us begin from where we were. So as you guys get back into the keep, after saving 15 villagers, um... Governor Nighthill looks at you and says, I thank you very much for your efforts to save this town. It's meaning a lot to us. And Esprit says, if you guys want to rest, then we understand. There's a lot more to do in the town, but you definitely deserve some rest. I think uh, we should well, take that should... rest. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. This time of the day is about 11 p.m. So, yeah, you can try taking a short <clears throat> rest if you like. Mm hmm. Well, it seems to make more like we're going to need to sleep anyway, right? Yeah. May as well get the level up. Mm hmm. You only need to do a short rest to level up. Well, I know, but because it's all, by the time we're done, the short rest, it'll be midnight. So are we going to go out again at midnight after resting for an hour? You could. Technically, if you need to rest, take a long rest by 6 a.m. If you don't, there might be some tiredness going on, but until 6 p uh, a.m. Okay. So about seven hours. Hmm. Because you have to take one more long rest in a 24-hour period. So okay. Long? Yeah. For those watching, I'm a new DM, just to let you know. So excuse any mistakes. I tend to make some, but I'll try my best. It's going to be a combination of, like, theater of the mind and some battle grids as well. And don't forget, if, okay. you, if you donate during the stream, you can give one of the players inspiration which means they get advantage on their next roll. So don't mm. forget to donate. Oh, nice. 
Okay, so what do you guys think? Should we take that uh, long rest? Maybe we could do a short and then just go out for a couple of hours. Okay, that's a, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so two a.m. Short rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. So that means it'd be twelve midnight. First, let's uh, get everybody's HP for the level up. So Simon, uh, go to your character sheet and yep. roll a <coughs> d10. Okay. Um, which uh, tab should I go just to grab a d10? Um, down where it says hit dice. Oh, you got it. Okay, so okay. eight. That's pretty good. Plus, your constitution modifier, which I believe is two, because you have a 15 constitution. So 10. So your max hit points raises by 10. Oh, nice. So you have now 22 max hit points. So you can change that if you... And that includes your current hit points. It goes with you. Okay. Uh, Kevin, you want to do? Let me see your guy for a second. So sure you, thing. You, Evan rolled a, a 1d8. Plus, what's your constitution modifier, Evan? No, oh, did I roll it already? I didn't mean to. Yeah, it says you did. Okay. But it's a one. It's a one? Oh, my modifier. Okay. My modifier is one. So you go nine HP higher. Oh, okay. nice. I got an eight. Sweet. Okay. Okay. What, should, what uh, dice do I roll? Uh, the rogue rolls a D8. <clears throat> Uh, I don't, I think I have to just roll a regular D8. Like on the left side of the screen, there's a, uh, okay. a roll button. Oh, I see it. I got it. Okay, four, plus your constitution modifier is one, so you go up five HP. Oh, five, five max HP? Yes. So okay, what do, I, what do I roll, Ari? Uh, let's see, Ranger rolls. Uh, Ranger <clears throat> rolls D10. Four, that's kind of low. Plus one is your constitution modifier. So you go up 5 HP, 5 max. Okay. And Magnus, um, Evan, do you want to do that? Or should I? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, maybe you should. Okay, I will do. Magnus is a Warlock, which is a D8. Oh, two, oops. Poor Magnus. Plus his constitution modifier. It is three though. So five HP he goes up. So he's at sixteen max. Uh did we freeze? Uh oh. Guys, can you hear me? Sorry about the stream, guys. It might have frozen. Hey, can you hear me? Guys, Kevin? Yeah, I'm back. I uh, have to refresh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I closed the window and opened it again.
I think Simon and Jacob might be frozen. Hmm. Mm. There's Simon back. Simon, you're all right for me. Simon, are you there? And Jacob lives close enough to me that I can probably just like go out onto my balcony periodically and yell to him what's happening. <laughs> Ow. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let you know to try refreshing. Oh, hey. Hey, there's the mentor. The master. Thanks for joining the stream. Working out some of the technical issues. As we seem to have a freeze happening. But uh, we're playing some Dungeon Dragons. Hey, Simon, are you back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, there we go. We couldn't, we couldn't hear or see the webcam. So now we're just waiting for Yakub to refresh? Yeah. So for those watching the stream, if you donate uh, any amount of money to my Extra Life campaign, then uh, you will be entered in a draw to win Payday 2 on Steam. And you also get to give one of the players inspiration in the game. Okay, so I think everybody's back after the slight technical malfunction. Yeah, I'm back. Sweet. Okay. So Magnus, uh, did I change him? I did. So everybody's HP is now leveled up to level two. So let's continue. So as you guys are taking a short rest, um, you guys already have max HP because you didn't really deal, get any heart last time. So you don't need to bandage up. And uh, so nothing really happens, but now it's 12 midnight. And as the clock goes 12 midnight, suddenly the entire keep shudders and you can hear a gigantic loud dragon roar from outside the keep oh no no oh. okay and suddenly escorted escorted the red the uh the military dwarf of the keep mm -hmm. he runs in screaming the dragon it's attacking up on the walls! Everybody get to the walls! We have to drive it off! Please help us! Okay. The left, oh. the left western wall. Okay. Alright, uh, should we head to the wall? I'd say so. So you go up That's the stairs. Cool. Up onto the parapet. And if you wait one second, you see a terrifying shadow overhead as a giant adult blue dragon. It's flying oh. overhead. Hmm. Hmm. So as you guys get up there, we're going to do this mostly by theory of the mind, because the grid I have doesn't work too well. Hmm. So okay. let's do this mostly theory of the mind. So you guys all head up to the top of the keep and you can see at the top of the keep there's a whole line of soldiers and uh, 
so there's a whole line of soldiers from the keep. And, uh, yeah, if, if we could keep maybe the noise down as much as possible so they could hear us. Um, anyway, so, all the soldiers from, up from the keep are at the wall, along the western wall, as the dragon flies overhead. You guys run up the parapet, up to the top wall, and now I'd like all of you to roll initiative. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, who wrote initiative? Kevin and Simon? Yep. <clears throat> I can't find my token on the map. Don't I need to click on it first? Yeah, he's there at the bottom. A middle area. Simon, did you get... Oh, you got 11, okay. Ugh. Oh, rough roll. Oh, rough roll. Uh, okay, so... Evan, do you want to roll initiative? I can't, because it... Oh, wait, hold on. No, I can't. What? Oh, yeah, do you see your token there? Yeah, it just took me a minute to get it. Okay. Yeah, so. Actus Depeche in. Here comes a four or less. Yeah, you always roll bad in the. Oh, wow, 19. Wow. I reverse cursed myself. Okay, okay and, and then. Uh, I'm just gonna. Magnus click. Northman. I'm gonna quickly. Uh... 18, wow. There we yep. go. Okay, I just looked up uh, some stats for a second. And. Okay. So now I'm going to order this. So first I did. up. First up is if i can just get this guy there we go First are we up, up on the wall now what was that are we up on the wall now yeah you guys are up on the wall like up here yeah along with uh, a bunch of soldiers like right. i like i said the, the picture the map isn't perfectly representative yeah. so yeah. go for more of my uh description if you can Let's not cluster too much together because then he can just breathe lightning on us and kill us all at once. Yeah. Good point. That would be less than ideal. Okay, so for guys watching the stream, I'm also in the background. You guys can't see it, but I'm consulting a campaign book for this story. Just to let you guys know. So I have to occasionally go back and forth. But you guys can't see the back and forth. Okay, so first up is Actus. The dragon mm -hmm. the dragon is currently um eighty feet above the keep. Eighty feet above where we are? Yes. Above Oh where, dear. Where you and okay. all the other soldiers of the keep. You can... Well let me just see the range of my spellage then. Oh, God, by the way, guys, anything that recharges after a short rest, make sure you do that. So, Actus, you get your breath mm -hmm. weapon back. I do, and also my bonus war deity attacks. No, that's long rest. Oh, is it a long rest? Okay, never mind then. But you have channel divinity. What? So just remember to check. You have a, mm -hmm. new, a new thing, channel divinity. Didn't I do that before? Isn't that what gives me my bonus attacks when I channel my divine power from my war god? No, that's a new level two thing. It's all under. Okay, class. I'll look it up. It's all under class. All under class. Yeah. Okay, well I'll take my turn first. Um, 
range for yeah. And by the way, while this is happening, you can see all the other soldiers on the keep wall are throwing arrows and crossbolts, but they just hit the hide. I'm They're throwing arrows and crossbolts? Sorry, I meant shooting. Okay. <laughs> They're shooting arrows and crossbolts. That's good. I was about to use my action to yell at them. <laughs> use that ammunition for its intended purpose. <laughs> my bad. Okay. So, uh, um, okay, can I yeah. hold my action? And until it's within 60 feet, and then Hadouken it with my Sacred Flame. You can use your ready action, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll ready my action to so the trick, Sacred Flame that sucker. You use your reaction to do that. So your trigger is going 60 feet from you. And your reaction... Hold on, let me just check. If Guiding Bolt has a longer range, then I might use that instead. Let me just duple check. Oh, um, it does. Uh... You've only got one spell slot left, though. It only be What? Your oh, with long rest, right? Yeah. You know what? I think I will use guiding bolt. Okay. So what? Uh, range what? 120 feet. Oh, so you're just gonna do it now? Yeah. Range spell attack. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Did that not work? What the hell? No, you have to click cast spell in your spell book. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm clicking on a show instead of. Okay. Never mind. Here we go. 17! 17. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay, so. You fire your uh, your guiding bolt, take a spell sp slot off, please, and it mm -hmm. whizzes through the air, but unfortunately the dragon does a quick barrel roll, and it just misses it. Oh, really? Wow. 17. Hey. This is an adult, That's bad news. Adult blue dragon. Mm hmm Okay, so uh, no more spell slots. Oh, sorry, no, you do, I should have, you have one more now, because you mm -hmm. leveled up. Okay. Yeah, I just said that. So you use two, and you have, um, one more left. Okay, so anything else you want okay. to do for your turn? No, I suspect we're not even, we're just going to have to run away and not even be able to hurt this thing, but um, we'll see how the round goes first. Um, okay, yeah, I'm done. All right, next up is Magnus. Uh, do you wanna, Magnus Northman. You want to play for him? Yeah, he, okay. yeah, he is going to, is his a special Warlock Blast in his spell book? Yeah, Eldritch Blast. Okay, yeah, it has a range of 120 feet as well. Eldritch Blast. Okay. 24. So. Whoa, Mag holy crap. There you go. Nice. Magnus Northman collapses some green energy in his hands, aiming through at the dragon flying above him, and fires, and it hits the dragon right in the side. Unfortunately, it does very little damage. Uh, because of the trajectory, and it does one force damage. Hmm. So, I'm going to mark that down. One force damage. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do? Evan? What's that? Oh, um, 
Nothing else. I guess he's done too. Okay. Next up is the dragon. Oh no. So the dragon's gonna take one look at all of you. Fly in, in like a vertical position, not moving. Just looking more intimidating. And give a giant, loud, terrifying, like, skin crawling roar. I would like all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Without the damage. Okay, 16, 12. 11. And logic? No, that's Evan again. Yeah, once with each character, though. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. I have to remember the chat. Uh -oh. Vinny's going to be mad that I made his character wet himself out of fear of the dragon because he <laughs> rolled so poorly on the saving throw. Save, save of seven is very awful because he has a bonus of four. Well, yeah. <laughs> that means I rolled a three. And Roderick, did you roll? Uh, no, I have not yet. Wisdom saving throw, please. Okay, one thing, just finding um, his death thing. Um, the de the death saving throw? No, wisdom. It's in core it's stats. It's next to uh, the wisdom stat, and it says save. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. And you click the roll. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen, seven, eleven, twelve, sixteen. Unfortunately. All of you are completely terrified by this beautiful but deadly adult blue dragon. So you all considered frightened for one whole minute. At the end of each turn, you may try to unfrighten yourself by doing another wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, I have a uh, racial trait called Brave, and okay. it says I have advantage on throwing saving throws against being frightened. Okay, good. So roll again, please. Sure thing. I, oh, actually, Doesn't he have a secondary roll already? Which yeah, is a two. you're right. <laughs> Thanks for, for catching that. So yeah, you're still frightened, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, because the macro automatically rolls... Uh, Advantage and disadvantage. Backup advantage roll. Yeah. And we always take the first one. Um, if there's no advantage or disadvantage. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, but thanks for reminding me. Um, actually, the players will always keep track of those things. Anyway, um. So yeah, you're all frightened. Frightened. Let me just look it up really quick. Because. Okay, frightened. You have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while you can see the source of the fear, and you can't willingly move closer to the source of the fear. Okay. Okay. Okay, so Thank that's you. the dragon's turn. Next up is. Oh, is the dragon gonna move? No, the dragon's gonna stay. Flying up there in 80 feet. And uh, next up is Viprol. Okay. Um, I don't think I have the means to hit him because all my weapons are fairly short range and my long range is a javelin. So um, I think I'm just going to try another uh, saving throw for that and try to unscare myself. Well, that, that's not an action, but yeah, that's at the end of your turn. Um, I just don't really see myself being able to do anything. I'm anyway. just looking up your weapons. One second. J 
javelin is 120 feet with disadvantage. Oh, my bad. So because you are, right. disadvantage doesn't stack. So you'd have regular disadvantage because of the fear and the distance. So you could try oh. a javelin. All right, in that case, I think we should. Just be careful I... that once you fire it, it might go off in the distance. You probably won't get it back. Yeah, I'm not all that worried about that. I barely use them. Um, so yeah, I'll just try for the javelin throw. Okay. Well, unfortunately, those rolls are quite poor. Eight. <coughs> so you take the javelin, you throw it as far as you can, but it just falls short and lands straight towards the ground. Okay. So mark that one javelin down. Yeah, I just did. And uh, anywhere you want to move? Uh, no, but I will do the roll. Yes, okay. okay. Wisdom saving throw. No, unfortunately, you are still frightened of this dragon. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, Roger Fraser. You're All right. next. So, I think, um, I can't find the range of my short bow. Will it, uh, even reach up to 80 feet? I will check that for you. Short bow is 320 feet. Probably with disadvantage. Yeah, and you're disadvantaged anyway, because you're frightened. In that case, I am going to... Let's see who's near me. Um, I am going to attempt to hide behind Pipperel with um, my natural stealthy um, ability uh, because I am a small hobbit and terrified. <laughs> okay, just to let you know that if you have like two advantages and one disadvantage, they all cancel out. So if you were to hide and then attack from hidden, you would have advantage, but then you'd have two disadvantages, which means uh, they would all cancel out. Okay. So that's a good thing. Great, that's fantastic. This is working. This is working better than I thought it would. Unfortunately, you do have to roll stealth. Oh, just fine with me. And it's stealth with disadvantage, because you can still see the dragon. Okay. Will roll. Disadvantage would be 11. And... Let me just check. Oh, no. Unfortunately, dragon can still see you even if it's not searching for you. Okay. It's got extremely uh, high senses. Okay. All right, then I'm I'm going to end my go with rolling uh, uh, another uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, no, unfortunately, eight is not high enough. Ah, you guys with wisdom saving throws are quite poor today. Yeah, we're having a we're having a rough time. If somebody Maybe. donates, they can get advantage on it. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn. All right. Oh, did you check out uh, Logic's new bonus action? Oh, oh yeah, I did see that in my uh, skills. Yeah, so you, uh, let me just double check that. It's under class. Starting at level mm. two, you can hide as a bonus action. So you still have an action left. Um, I guess I'll, I'm not sure, since I'll have double disadvantage with shooting that arrow. I told you double disadvantage only counts as one disadvantage. Okay, in that 
in that case, then I'll take a take a far out shot with just trying to shoot him with my uh, short bow. Okay. So roll an attack and minus an arrow after that. Oh, unfortunately, it's with disadvantage. So you roll an eleven, and so you fire the uh, arrow into distance and completely soaring just far from the dragon. Ah. Uh. Okay, so that's your turn. Yep. Okay. Call the big tree. Uh, can I do my wisdom throw? Sorry, I didn't hear that. What was that? Can I do my wisdom throw before I do my action? Um, let me say. That's just the end of my turn. End of the turn only. Okay. Um, I will use my longbow then. Okay. Take a swing at the, take a swing at this big guy. Just um, uh, remember you have ten arrows left. Right, okay. Can I steal some from the soldiers on the wall? Uh, you'd have to ask them. You can't steal them. Okay, maybe I'll, maybe I'll ask them after this. Okay, I'm going to uh, go ahead then and shoot. Nice. That's excellent rolls. With disadvantage. Wow, okay. So with disadvantage, you still, you're a ranger. You know you're tough. You ain't no scared of these dragons. So you pull your longbow up, and you fire an arrow, and it hits the dragon right in the side of its, like, hide area, and it screams in pain. And it's able to do... Yeah, it's able to do 11 points of piercing damage. Nice one. Thanks. Does the dragon look phased? The dragon is now aware of you guys and pretty bad. He sees you guys are much tougher than the guards, which continue to try to shoot arrows and missing every time. Okay. Um, now, can I ask one of the, uh, the guys on the wall if I can have some arrows? Uh, that would actually be your action. That would be my action. Okay, maybe another time. Um, I guess that will be it, then. Okay. I'll just move over here. Okay. Next up is Actus. Do we want, we should maybe talk and see what, like, maybe we have, like, a big plan around this, or what do we want to, do we want to keep just launching things at it, or should we maybe... Well, I guess so, until it comes down, we've got to just launch things, so... Um, especially if we can attract it and then get the guards to sneak up and attack it from behind or something. Yeah. Okay. But if it gets to a point okay. that we can't defend from it anymore, I think it might be best to run from this. Oh, damn. All right. Can I still, yeah. do, a, can I still do a wisdom throw? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay. Hadouken! Uh, That's what I'm doing. Sacred flame, in other words. What's the range in there? Uh, 60. Is it within 60 now? No, it's still 80. Okay, I'm going to hold my action then. Until it's within range? Until it's within range. And when it comes, I'm going to Hadouken it for 7 damage. Okay. Difficulty 12 for dex save. Unfortunately, you're still scared, uh, Hobbit. Right, right. Okay, so, holding your turn, uh, Magnus... What would you like to do? That's Evan. Oh, right, of course, I'm playing with this guy, too. Um, he will Eldritch Blast again. Oh, wait, sorry, I get to do a Wisdom save at the end of my turn, don't I? Yes. For Actus Depeche in first. Oh. Wisdom save! Okay. Either 18 or 20. Well, it's not with advantage. I don't it? get advantage. So you are no longer afraid of this dragon. You shake off the fear, and you're ready to fight. I'm all like, I'm a gold dragonborn. This guy's not even as tough as my dragon ancestry is. You're also immune <laughs> to this particular dragon's frightful presence for 24 hours. Cool. 
Um, all right. Okay. Well, let's kill this kill this sucker so that nobody will be afraid of it. Okay. Uh, Magnus Northman is going to Eldritch Blast. Eighteen. Uh, that would be with disadvantage. So roll again. Why didn't it do disadvantage automatically? That's weird. Yeah, I know the spells don't. Does it, does it normally do that? That's not, weird. Not for spells. Hmm. But I'll, I'll, okay, let's try this again. I'll count the first damage though. Okay, so 18 is the lowest. Let me just check. That was seven damage both times. Unfortunately, you fire the green energy out of your hand. And you, you think it's going to hit, but it just grows at the last second. And out of the dragon, okay. far away. Alright, so is that your turn? Magnus is going to make another... Wisdom saving throw. Save. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so Magnus is no longer afraid. He doesn't care about this dragon, and he's good to go. Okay. Nice. He's also immune for this particular dragon. Okay. Dragon turn. Okay. So, the dragon, let's see what he does. Alright, well first, um, he's going to swoop down to 25 feet from the ledge. So, Evan, you want to use your reaction, right? Yes. Okay, well, let me go up in the chat and see where that was. Dex 12, no effect. 7 here. damage? Yeah, 7 damage, difficulty 12, save. Okay, uh... That's considered a deck saving throw, correct? Yes, it is. Yes. Um. Hmm. Okay, so this dragon is going to use his legendary resistance that he can do three times per day and mm -hmm. automatically succeed. Hmm. So he can do that two more times per day. So no effect automatically succeeds on the saving throw. Mm -hmm. So put 24 hours. So now, avoiding that attack entirely, he's going to swoop down to 25 feet from the ledge, rear his head back, and you guys think you're about to all die. You're all like huddled together. Oh no! But he suddenly turns his attention towards all the guards on the keep, and not you guys at all. Hmm. Hmm. He, he fires his lightning breath at every guard in the line, and he kills. He kills two of them, and seriously injures one of them. So two cards are dead, and one of them seriously injured from his breath attack. So that's 55 of his flying speed, from 80 to 25. He's going to use the other 25 remaining. Uh, to go up to 50 feet from the ledge. So he flew down and then flew up to 50 feet. And that's going to be his turn. Okay? Alright. So now, Pipro, it's your turn. 
already. Um, I'm going to approach a little bit and then use my javelin. Okay, it's currently 50 feet. Um, but it doesn't matter because I think you're still scared, correct? Yeah, I'm still scared. Yeah. Okay, so with disadvantage. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Unfortunately, with disadvantage is annoying. So you throw your javelin, and again, just like before, it falls straight down to the ground. So that's another javelin gone. Yeah, I have and to mark that down. I'm out of javelin. Don't forget you have a new ability. It's called Action Surge. You can only do it once, but it lets you take another action. Yep. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I understand. And I'm gonna do that, um, my wisdom saving throw. Yep. Well, unfortunately, not enough. You are still frightened by the dragon. Okay, so that's your turn. All right. Next up is Roderick. Is okay. Dragon is currently 50 feet above now. So, Roderick's going to go ahead and take another go with um, my uh, short bow. Okay. So that's another arrow. Yep. Down to just 16 left now. And you were still scared, right? Yes. Yes. So unfortunately that's a nine. And again, arrow just misses and goes out far away. Okay. I'm going to use oh. my extra action of hide now. Thank you so much. Someone has donated to the stream. Oh, fantastic. Sweet. Thank you so much. Let's see who that is. Thank you. Nick Breslin, thank you for the $15 donation. I really, we all appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, you well. if you're in the Twitch uh, stream, please comment who would you like to receive advantage. Um, at Inspiration Advantage. So please type that in the Twitch chat when you have um, a second. I know there's a one minute delay uh, for the stream, but yeah. And you're also entered to win Payday 2. So uh, thank you very much. So we'll wait. Uh, just let me know in the Twitch chat. Uh, who you want to give advantage? All right, and so I'm going to try and use that extra move to hide behind Pepperell again. Okay. My boy. So uh, I'm going to roll my stealth. Yep. Come on, this is what you're good at. Hey, -oh. whoa! Wow! Nice Even rolls. Even with disadvantage, because of the fear. Wow. Let me just check. Yeah. So you are currently hidden from the dragon. And now you may do a wisdom save as well. All right. Here we go. Yeah, no, unfortunately, one does not, uh, in fact, you're more frightened now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. Oh, you're cowering in your little halfling boots. Now I'm hiding, and I just got to think more and more about how scary this situation is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but you are currently hidden, so your next attack will be advantage. Yes. Which will cancel out the disadvantage from being afraid, right? Yeah, so it'll be a normal attack. Fantastic. Normal attack! Secret attack! 
Okay, so, uh, Cobbeth, it's now your turn. Yep. Okay, I'm going to uh, bomb my 10th uh, arrow here at him. See how that goes, see if I can get lucky again. Your 10th arrow? Is, is, do I have ten, 9 arrows left or 10? I think you have 9 because you hit the dragon in the side. Right, okay, so this is my 9th arrow then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Critical hit. Yes. And, right you, and, and you're not scared, I remember, so... Yeah. Critical hit. Cobbeth Big Tree. So you take, okay. You take a moment, you line up your shot perfectly. Uh, I know the longbow has a lot of range, so you're good with that. And you fire, and you manage to hit the dragon right on the side of its cheek. It screams in pain, and looks like, for a second, it looked like it had fear in its eyes. I didn't give the inspiration out yet, no. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna roll randomly, um, for it. So, let's roll randomly. Two, so from left, uh, left to right, to Kevin, uh, you have advantage whenever you want on a saving throw, an attack, or an ability. You have advantage. Oh, lucky! I think you should use it on your sneak attack. Yeah, I think so also. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Observer. Yeah. Okay. So... You do a total of 8 plus 3 is 11 damage with the critical. And it smacks nice. him in the cheek. And it screams in, in, in pain. Definitely doesn't kill this dragon, but it's hurt. Okay. Um, um, should I give you a wisdom throw then now? No, you're not scared. Oh, really? Okay. I'm pretty sure you saved, didn't you? Um, I'm not sure if I saved yet or not. I think my last roll. Really? I didn't go back in one Yeah, I'll go back in one second. Uh, let me just check. Paperol, Magnus, Actus, Clobus. Oh, I thought Clob... Oh, that was Magnus, wasn't it? What was Magnus? Does that affect how much damage I did then? Uh, it would have, yeah. Okay. Because you would have had disadvantage, so you would have still hit. But you okay, but not not the crit though, not the additional three. No, you would have done uh, eight. Okay, sounds good. Still pretty good. Yeah. Sorry, I thought it was you who... Yeah, I think it was Magnus and Actus. Can I roll now, then? Yeah, it was Magnus and Actus. Um... Yeah, you can roll now, definitely. Um... Unfortunately not. You are still scared. That's okay. Okay, next up is... Actus. Okay, Actus will. Um, you know what, now that I'm not afraid anymore, I think I'll use my last spell slot for a Gliding Bolt. Okay. Okay. It is 50 feet yeah, above. Guiding Bolt has a range of 120. Okay, good to know. Here we go. Nice one. 21. Woohoo! You know everyone's name? Yeah, they're all from Canada. Okay. So, yeah, you take your guiding bolt, you, uh, your hands glow with a radiant divi divine energy, and it fires towards the dragon and hits him right in the, uh, 
in the chest. Go ahead and do damage. Okay. Damage is 4d6. Wow. 4d6. That's a big mm -hmm. attack. <laughs> Not when you roll 9. 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. 9. Okay, so you hit the, da the dragon and it does 9 damage. Rears its head in pain. And Magnus Northman will now get advantage on the attack because it's guided by my guiding bolt. Nice. Let me just check that. Yeah, okay. And it, it already saved from frightening Magnus did, so yeah, it's got an yeah. image. So Magnus next. Good strategy, okay. Colin. Here we go. Thunder's Blast. Nice 19. Uh, do you want to roll again in case it's a crit? Oh, yeah. Roll the force. Mm -hmm. I'll use the first damage though. Nine. No, okay. So 19 with advantage. Barely hits. So you take your uh, green energy from Magnus's hands. Once again, strikes the target aiming through. He almost dodges out of the way, but it hits him right under the uh, neck area. And Ooh. badly hurts him. Oh, nice to done. The green energy. Eldritch Throat Blast! Yeah. And very solid. There's nine damage. Okay. Next up is the dragon. The dragon All right. is looking at you guys, realizing that it's not the right time to strike. He's going to use all his movement and action to fly very far away and out of the picture. And as you watch, so as you watch, he's flying not just out of the, the middle of the town, he's flying quite far away. Nice. Well, good job, guys. That was really nice. Well played. Okay, I'm gonna watch carefully where he goes. Um, I would say he's going towards the north. That's all I can say. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Good job, guys. Do you want to do? There we go. Experience now or later? Let's do it now. Yeah, might as well hit that. So we get now. experience for defeating the dragon, right? We beat it up so that it retreats. That's the same as defeating it, right? Uh, you don't get experience for the actual dragon because it wasn't a kill, but you do get experience for not letting a certain amount of guards die. But aren't you when you defeat a monster, whether you it retreats or you kill it i don't think you're supposed to have to kill it to get experience for defeating it no. did you look that up yes it's uh because it killing rooting or getting it to surrender okay so we routed it then no but it it doesn't count okay why doesn't it count as routing it if we beat it up so badly that it ran away that's what routing means well this is technically according to the campaign not an official battle versus the dragon so it's more okay. of, it's more of a story type thing so mm -hmm. if you drive away the dragon um if you drive away the dragon without 10 or more guards sign then uh, you get 50 experience okay so yeah all of you get 50 experience points Woohoo! Sweet. Nice. I'll take that. 
cool. And Roderick, I just put inspiration, yes, on your page. Just to remind hey. you, you have that. <laughs> Fantastic. And can I use that whenever I want? Yep, non-expiry, which is Great. just for this stream. Because the normal rules only last one hour. Okay. Because I'm doing non-expiry. So yeah, that's the end of this little part. On only two died, which is quite excellent. We'll take that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah. So, Escort runs up to you and says, you did it. You, you drove the dragon away. You, you're heroes. I could have done it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Governor Nighthill says, there's still much to be done. We just have news that the mill is under attack. If we lose the mill, our wealthiness of our town will skyrocket down. Will you once again help us, please? In the morning. But by then, yes. it could be completely destroyed. We'll lose all of OK, our... well, I have no spells. I guess we can go. Sure, we can go. Can I ask him for more right. arrows first? Uh, yeah. Oh, good. You can make a persuasion check. Okay. Your character is kind of not very good at that because of his. Yeah. yeah. Get someone else to ask for us. Yeah, does anyone else have better persuasion? Um. I. Uh, I have a bonus. Uh, I have mine a is pretty good. Persuasion. You have three. Yeah, I've got negative one. Can you, can you ask for me, big guy? Four. Oh, you you've got four, Simon. Yeah. Can you ask for me? Can you do me a, bit, a solid? Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'll just uh. I'll, I'll try. It. Oh God. Huh? Maybe. So, uh, you didn't try very hard. <laughs> so who did you ask, Espergert or, or the governor? Uh, the first guy, the dwarf. The dwarf. Yeah. Okay, so he looks at you, and he says. You asked me before, and you've been very good to us. So I was ma managed to uh, get one arrow for you. One arrow? <laughs> and he, you hand, he hands it to you, Simon. Okay. So I'll just uh, keep that for myself. Now oh. here's a question for you guys. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think the odds are of there being a uh, weaponry stash somewhere in? There's probably a pretty good chance. Yeah. Um, I I'd say good. there's a decent chance I might just be able to go in and steal you some more arrows. Yeah, this guy's rude. He only gave us one arrow. That's kind of a slap in the face. You should go, you should go get some, Kevin. All right. Um, let's look around. Okay, um, so you uh. You look around the bed, you go off from the other group, from the other players, the other characters, and you kind of walk around a bit, and you do see a pile of swords, daggers, arrows, and there's a few guards walking around, but they're not really paying that attention. Okay. But they are pretty, um, they are close. So they could see you potentially. I'm going to give it a go. What do you think, guys? Should I give it a go and go see if I can get a uh, cob some arrows? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get a uh, javelin for Simon while you're in there, please. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go in and just see if I can get as much useful uh, weaponry as I can. Okay. So what I'm going to say is uh, because this is an open environment, you're not really stealthing. This is a sleight of hand technique. Great, I've got I've got good sleight of hand also. So roll sleight of hand, and uh, see what happens. All right, here we go, guys. Sixteen. That's hey. Very good. Nice. So uh, you manage. Oh, also roll investigation. Oh, also roll investigation. Yeah. Um. 
Hey, I'm not too bad at that either. Ralph says good luck, Kevin, from the stream. Yes. Nice. Okay. So how many arrows would you like? Um. Uh, um. How many can you carry? How many can I carry? Without being seen and and stealthy getting out of there, I would say I'll use the mechanic of the um, after battle ammunition recovery. So, how many arrows did you all use total in the dragon fight? I used two. Kevin, you used two. And Simon so, used two javelins. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say you can pick up either three arrows, two javelins, or six arrows. Okay. Uh, I would say before you do that, uh, definitely go for the arrows. I barely use the javelins. All right, let's I, go I, for the uh, arrows. I, don't, I have a javelin I don't use, Simon, so I can give it to you if you want. Guys, need it. I like... I know I don't want to be a stickler about this, but Car I like role playing. That's why I love D and D. So technically, Simon, you're not there to tell him what to take. You're okay. <laughs> you're there all by yourself. So what would Roderick take? Um, Roderick, knowing that. Would take food. Um, I'm feeling the six arrows just because. Uh. Even my, myself, I use the arrows too. So if I end up going low on them, uh, yeah, I, I think just for our uh, group there, the arrows are a little that bit more makes useful. Sense. He has a criminal background, so mm -hmm. he would take what he can use. Exactly. Okay. So I, guys... I'm much, I'm much too small to grab the javelins. I feel also. This is true. Okay, so you got six arrows. And, nice. Uh, so you go back to the group, stealthily of course, and kind of keeping the arrows hidden the best you can, even though you're pretty small. Nobody seems to pay attention. And, okay, yeah, I'm back with you guys. Arrows. Yeah, you're back okay. with the group. And uh, Cobbeth, I'm going to pass you these six arrows now. Oh, Kevin, you're so sweet. Can I... um? Oh. Can I um you use my action to give um Roderick a hug and a fist bump? Yeah, yes. this, there's no really action at this point. This more okay. <laughs> Wait, no, roll initiative because I want to fist bump him first. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where, roll the dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm back up to uh, 15 arrows now. Nice. There we go. Also, um, the one arrow I found, if you haven't already added it to your cover. This is me officially giving it to you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Your gift, is, your gift is insignificant compared to Kevin's, but that's okay. So, it's uh, the thought. Sorry, continue. Okay, so um, Governor Knight here approaches you guys as you guys are discussing and giving each other arrows. Um, he says, "So you're gonna you're gonna help us secure the mill." Sure. Yes, we will. Sounds great to me. Um, he, he's the master. I've been streaming like uh, this whole weekend, really. Oh. I streamed a little bit a long time ago. This is the first Dungeon Dragon stream I've ever done. Um, and, yeah, so I have a little bit ex experience streaming, but this whole weekend I've been streaming as much as I can to raise money for, uh, BC Children's Hospital. Um, so, mm -hmm. and thank you for doing And you've exceeded your goal, Ari, is that right? Yes, I had a goal of $200, and then it went to 250 mm -hmm. and then to 300 so I'm really, really happy. This hospital really nice. saved my life when I was a kid. I would not be That's here. That's awesome, buddy. Good to hear. Without them. So thank you all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, once again, he says, 
if you guys are going out, once again, I really implore you to please, please find somebody, a prisoner, and bring them back here. I mean, make them a prisoner and bring okay. them back here. It can be a general, it can be a cultist. Preferably, preferably not kobolds, because I don't like those filthy creatures, but anything else would serve. All right. Um, Escobots, before you guys leave, don't forget to use the towel. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you guys like to do? It's now about 12, 15-ish, after the arrows and everything. Maybe 12.30, actually. Yeah, I'd say 12.30. Well, I think... uh. I think we shouldn't waste any time. I think we should go out and uh, mm -hmm. try and capture uh, someone that the town can interrogate. Oh, and he yeah. also tells you that the uh, mill is in the southwestern part of the town. Which is like... West of the okay. So what do yeah. you guys like to do? We can just go at the main door. Start walking. How are you guys feeling? Should we uh, head out and go down to the mill? Yeah. Especially since yeah, I'm out of spells, but I'm not hurt, and I don't think anyone else is injured, so we can do it. Yeah. Great. Right. Let's do it. Okay. How would you like to go there? Um, is the tunnel a viable option? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he mentioned to take the tunnel. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to transfer you to the uh, tunnel page. And so there you guys are. Can you guys see your, your tokens? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, okay. Their health looks good. I was just worried about that. Okay. So yeah, the boxes are not there because you cleared them last time. And would you like to go through the tunnel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how far? To the end? Just before the end, so we can peek out. Okay, and what's your marching order? I'll go first, since I have a lot of health, in case there's any enemies. Okay. Okay. I'll go, I'll go right behind him. Wait, right, let me just check one thing about the campaign. Okay. So, uh, Pippo, you go to the end, and you kind of peek out. The gate is open. Um, you guys didn't close it when you came back. And, uh, you currently do not see anybody. Okay. All right. So now, do we have to cross this river to get to the uh, mill? Uh, the mill is on the southwestern edge of town, and the river goes all along the south edge of town. So the mill is actually like connected to the river at the south edge of town, southwest. So like down here, like where my ping is right now. Uh, yeah, if you keep going, like, it's a, from where you guys are, it's about 500 feet away. Yeah, I mean, no, maybe 750 feet. It's pretty far. Okay, should we do that then? Yeah, I think we should go. Okay. Let's um, do it. 
So you mentioned that there was that I couldn't see anyone outside. Right, as you go outside, let me just do something. Um. Nope, there is nobody there. Can't see anybody. Okay. So you want to um, continue on the road? I mean, along the the river? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna step out. So you guys want to use the river and walk along all the way to the mill, correct? Correct. Yeah, let's do it. And how are you walking there? What order? Um, what, I can still what, lead the way. What order and also stealthily or non-stealthily? Uh, I don't think there's any point in me trying to walk stealthily. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, I'm a huge dragonborn in chainmail armor, so... If you use the river, you have advantage. Okay, maybe we have, let's use the river and go stealthily then. Yeah, let's try the stealth. Okay, so you guys all tiptoe and go slow across the river, and uh, you can always take you a few minutes to get to the mill as it's pretty far away. But I'd like all of you to roll stealth, please. Will do. Fourteen, fifteen, so fifteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty-four, and Magnus? Yeah, I'm just doing it now. Okay. Thirteen. Yep. So all right. Using the river as cover, you all safely get to the keep, and as you approach, you're kind of approaching um, from the eastern side along the river. So I'm going to do this mostly by my experience. Okay? Okay. I mean by my experience. I mean by uh, my, my theater of the mind explanations. If a, okay. If a combat breaks out, If a combat breaks out, then uh, okay. then we'll do the grid. Can you say hi? Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey, buddy. What's going on down here? Good to see everyone. Yeah. You too. Ready to drop? No problem. Your beard's coming in pretty nicely. Thank you very much. Good luck to y'all. I, I wish you the best in your adventure today. <laughs> okay. Beautiful uh, lab. Oh, we have another donation. Wow. Oh, no way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Dan, Thank you for this. Dan Bickers donated $15. Oh, no way. Sweet. Yeah, thank you. I Dan think Bickers that Dan is my uh, housemate here. I oh. think Dan should give me the bonus because he has a beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Dan, if you wouldn't mind in the, in the Twitch chat say who you'd like to give advantage to, uh, inspiration for D&D, &D. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll wait a little bit, and if, if nobody answers, we'll do it randomly. And you're also in the draw for uh, Payday 2 on Steam. So, uh, as awesome. we continue... Uh-oh, uh -oh. I think we just lost Kevin. Kevin? Uh-oh, I'm down. Halfling down! I can still hear you guys. Halfling down! Oh, we lost just visual then. I can see him. Really? Yeah. I can't. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I, I cannot. Oh, I can see Kevin. Hmm. Yeah, I can still see all I can still see all you guys except for uh, Evan. I can't see Evan. Oh. But Simon, you can't see Kevin either. I can't see Kevin. 
Yeah, I cannot see Kevin. I can't see him. Oh. Yeah, your bars are a bit yeah. low. Maybe you'll come back now? Uh, I'm not playing on the DM. You can't give me the bonus. You have to give one of the players. No, he wants, he wants the next enemy to attack us to have the bonus. So oh, it was a no. mean spirited donation. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could be easily arranged. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Dan, don't do it, buddy. Dan making our whole campaign harder. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. Um, as you guys head towards the mill, let me explain it. It is... Um, why don't I just take you to the page, actually? But use my words as a more better explanation, so we don't have any window problems like before. Okay, Jacob gets it. Yes, thanks, Dan the Man. Okay, so you guys should now see kind of the mill area. Okay. Where, Here we go. Where, where the black is, is where the mill is. So you guys see the back wheel. You see... That other wall, mm -hmm. and yeah, so it's like a square rectangle, the main room, and then another smaller square, um, some kind of room on that on the outside of it. Okay, where are our characters? I don't see our characters right now. Uh, true. Hang on. You're gonna be on the river. Yeah, they would be on. Ah, sorry, hold on. They would be on the river. Okay, I'm just taking your characters into this page. But we're I'm, huge. We grew. What is this? A mill for ants? <laughs> Okay, so now yeah, you've got control now, right? Let me just turn that off. Okay, so you guys are all on the river coming from the east side, and you can see um, from where you are, you can see one cultist who is currently right there and he is setting fire to the outside stone of the building. Is, is he in range or we, he's, he's on the other side of the building? He's on the uh, eastern side. He is in okay. range. He currently does not see you. And you guys are, I would say, Uh, if I use the ruler, around 60-ish feet, but you can get f closer. Oh, so are we over on this side then? Yeah, you're on the eastern, yeah. You guys are oh, all okay. over there. Okay. Did and we roll initiative then? Not yet, no. It's only when combat comes out. Mm-hmm. Right now, we could still take a uh, stealth attack on him. Okay, here's... Here. I think, yeah, I like the idea of Ke Kevin sneaking up and stabbing him. Yeah. Here's, here's the description. Start, to start the combat. Here's the description. The mill is a simple rectangular barn, about 40 feet long, 20 feet wide, mm -hmm. with an attached exterior room. The long side of the building, away from the stream, has barn doors, 
with a two-part door, and those two short walls have windows. So, there is a window, uh, apparently. So, two short windows. I guess right, uh, here would be a window. And... They're closed, but they do not look locked. Yeah. Just a heads up, alright, I probably gotta go around 7.45, 8-ish tonight. Okay, so probably after the mill part. Okay, right sounds here. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, alright. Okay, so... As you guys approach, um, each of you may roll either an insight or a uh, performance check. Whatever is better for you. Either insight or performance. Right and oh, performance. Insight's better for me. Critical yeah. for insight for Evan. Nicely done, Evan. There we go. Evan, uh. Mm hmm. You're the only one who notices something. I'm sending you a private okay, message. Okay, what do you notice? I'm sending hmm? you. A, I'm sending you a private message. Okay. Just give me a second. Takes me a little bit to type. Sorry about the wait for one second. I go pee, be right back. All right, can you can you guys all still hear me? Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, great. Just still can't see you. Yeah, I just lost, um, I've lost everyone's video, video feed but Simon's. Oh, here. Yeah, uh, I've lost yours now. I can still see everyone. Simon, do you think you would be able to just, like, watch the windows for the visuals from Ari and Jacob and me and then just reenact them in your screen for Kevin's benefit? Oh, why, of course. <laughs> now you're back. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, Kevin. Evan's back. Hey, Evan. Can you see everyone now? Uh, no, just uh, Simon and Evan right now. Okay. Can you see the room that Jacob would be in if he were here? Um, no, just uh, the little symbol. Oh, I'm on. missing out. Evan, I sent you a message. Do it. Do with it what you will. Okay. All right. Um. Well, I'm going to share that with my teammates. Guys, it looks like they're not trying to burn the mill down, but they're trying to lure someone or something to the mill using the fire. Hmm. Like they're not burning, because otherwise they'd be burning the doors instead of trying to burn the stone at the corner. Because stone is a non-combustible material, generally. I think it might be a good idea for us to try and capture... Uh, this guy standing just at the side of the... Yeah, room. if you knock him unconscious, then we can just bandage him up and take him with us instead of leaving him to die or finishing him off. Or like a slightly more unfortunate thing, if we're able to get like a good shot at his knees or something. From where you guys are, you can only see him. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Okay. Well, I think we should... Well, yeah, Kevin in particular, or sorry, Roderick, should sneak up and and take this guy down, and then we can bandage him up and take him with us. Uh -huh. We can drag him back and tie him. 
Hello, Avalok. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it. Playing some D&D. Welcome, tennis. welcome. Okay, so does anyone have any kind of a blunt object that I'd be able to knock this guy out with? Um, mm -hmm. When you attack with a melee weapon, you can choose to do non-lethal um, knockout damage. Great, let's uh, let's give that a try then. Basically using the back of your weapon, like the hilt. Okay. So, right. uh, are we all in agreement? Should I try and sneak up behind him and knock him out? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay, t tell me exactly where you're going. Like, are you going straight D-line? Or around him? Or what? Um... Can I uh, take a perception check just to see which way he's looking? At the time? But, like, is he looking in a particular direction right now? Hang on. Dan says, are you guys on a quest night? Meow. <laughs> or just rolling around? That's funny. Okay. Oh, we are, we are on a quest. Of sorts. Um, oh, your group's running it too? That's cool. I'm a new DM. I'm trying to run this for my friends. I'm hopefully that everybody's enjoying it. You guys enjoying it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are you moving? Um. Is there any way I can see which way he's looking right now in particular? He's looking um, basically at the wall. He's looking uh, a little bit maybe behind, occasionally towards the front door, like where the, the mirror is facing, which would, okay. be, which would be like this way. Uh, he's so looking I... for, for like people coming, but he's not watching the stream. I'm going to do my best then to creep up uh, behind him along this wall, like just slightly away from the wall where he's not looking. So you're going straight beeline to him, or are you kind of going around or just right? I'm going to I'm gonna come towards the back here just a bit, and then I'm going to take a diagonal towards him over here. So first here. Yes. And then straight to him. Yeah. Because okay. that should be uh, out of his... He shouldn't be looking that way, I'm hoping. Okay, so I'll have can... an arrow ready in case something goes wrong, Kevin. You can just uh, glimpse that there's another one here. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go behind this guy? Please roll stealth. Can do. And you guys are just watching, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to get ready to attack as soon as this stuff goes I down. My, I have my bow ready, already in case. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, 13. No advantage at this point. It's a cultist. Um, yeah. So he doesn't know you're coming. So he doesn't see you. And you attack. I'm going to stabby, use my, my short sword non-lethal. Non-lethal. Okay, just yeah. to let you know, you have to do enough damage um, to knock him out. Like, mm. you have to, if you don't do enough damage that makes him go to zero, he won't knock out. Okay. Um, am I able to and, and attempt to it only debilitate him anyway? Debilitate him? Mm -hmm. Um could trip him, but that wouldn't do damage. That would just knock him prone. Alright, um... You could grab him, but that also doesn't do damage. In that case, I feel like I might not be able to do enough damage to just uh, kill him off the bat, so do you guys think I should, uh... You know, I'm gonna go for the... Uh, I'm just gonna use a normal attack then on him. Well, we could try maybe... if. Jacob tried to shoot him, and then you. Uh... I I will remind you. I'm I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna. 
Yeah, sneak attack does count. Um, okay, so this is with advantage because you're unseen. Oh, everybody roll initiative, by the way. Okay, so surprise round. Uh, 15. That does hit. Let me double check. Yeah, it does hit. Four damage. This is not how damage, right? Oh, this? good initiative. Is this knockout damage? Um, yeah, let's go to try and knock him out. Okay, so that's... Sneak attack. So, 15. That does hit. 4, and then add... I think it's d6 for sneak attack. Double checking. Is it higher, more sneak attack damage now that he's level 2? Is it 2d6 instead of 1? Not yet, no. Alright, okay, 1d6. Alright, I'll roll that 1d6. Nice. Nice. Hey. 6 oh. plus 4, 10. So you come behind this, this uh, guy and you land one hit the top of its head with the back of your hilt and boom, he is unconscious on the ground. Fantastic. Um, okay. So, that's going to be unconscious. So that Beautiful. Does somebody who's bigger and stronger than the halfling but not as terrible at stealth as me want to help him drag the unconscious dude back up where we are so we can tie him up and oh. gag him? Thank you that for the donation. Bad. Thank you so much for the donation. Wow. Thank you very much. It's very nice. This Thank you. Great. Thank you. This is amazing. McFails, McFails. Thank you for oh. $15. Thanks. Thank nice. you, Mr. McFail. Uh, please, mm. please get us in the Twitch chat. Which player would you like to give um, advantage, uh, which is inspiration? And you're also in the running for Bay Day 2 at the end of the stream. Um, okay, so back to what we were doing. My brain is flipping. What were we doing? Oh, we uh, were just um, planning to drag this unconscious uh, character away. Oh, hang on. I need to add initiative really quick um, for the bad guys. Uh, there he is. Just checking the stats, guys. Um, I should have prepared this a little bit more. Hang on. Um, okay. So, I need to also, oh, somebody, hold on. Advantage to Simon. Simon, you get inspiration. You may use that any time you like. Thanks, McPhails. Um, okay, so... Hey, Kevin, are you still there with audio? Yeah, I am still here with audio. Okay, I lost your picture again. Did anyone else lose Kevin's picture? No, I didn't. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I can still see it, Kev. Hey. Oh, plus one. It's okay. I remember what you look like. Perfect. I can remember you and Simon as well. I can't see you guys. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, so... Um... Okay, so now we're back. Sorry. Um, I had to do a bunch of things. So, Roger Fraser, I, oh my goodness, another donation, wow. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, you, Brian Haynes, thank you so much, you, you all guys are amazing, I'm about to cry, not really, but yeah, um, thank you, uh, please tell uh, which player you want to give an, uh, 
inspiration to. Simon, uh, Kevin, and Jacob, they all have inspiration. So yeah, uh, and also, at the end of the stream, you're in the running for uh, Payday 2. So, uh, Roderick, uh, you still th knocked out the guy. And uh, what would you like to do? That was your um, action. I'd like to, uh, while I'm here, and the other guy has not seen me yet, I'm going to try and drag um, this guy's unconscious body back towards the river. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have enough movement in your turn. So actually, you can't move at all because you had to get there to attack. Okay, in that so... case, um, I will uh, wait here for backup to arrive and oh, stay wait, hidden. Can, can you dash as a bonus action? I, I can. can. So yeah, you've got another 25 feet then. All right, let's. Uh, I will attempt to drag this uh, villain 25 feet. Uh, while dragging, you can only drag half. Okay. So 12 feet. Then um, that's and enough. That's all right. Two squares you could probably do. All right, I'll attempt to drag him back to back two squares along the wall. Okay. And advantage to monster? Really? Okay. <laughs> Do you give advantage to the monster? Uh, I think Brian did. Well, at least Brian. it's for a good cause. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Makes my delicious evilness come out. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you've dragged him. And uh, that's going to be your turn. Great. Yes, I know. Evilness. Okay. So, uh, next up, it's a surprise round. So, next up is Actus. Okay, dokily. Um, well. I'm going to stealth up here and help him drag the dude. I can probably carry him quite easily. Okay, you don't really Whereas... need to stealth, because it is a surprise round. So. Oh, no... wait. Who's attacking us? Like, who's fighting? Can this guy see us? Does he even know we're here? The guy south of the mill? He heard a commotion, so he's, a... he's aware. He's surprised, but he's aware. Okay, I'm going to just run up here then and ready my action to womp him with my Warhammer when he comes around. Was that 30 feet or <laughs> 6 squares? Yeah. yeah. 1, 2, 3, four. I was over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because I came from here. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I can't see where you're pointing. I thought you were here. Hello, no, I was right on the diagonal, right on the corner, I think. It's right there. Oh, okay. Oh, well, wait. Well, from here even, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, and get to there and still be within just a quick five-foot step and a bunk. So you want to ready? I'll do that. You want to ready your action? I'll ready. I'll go here and ready my action to hit him when he comes around the corner. For yeah. a Warhammer? Mm-hmm. Okay. If he comes around the corner, he would be able to see you without you able to hit him, though. You have to be five feet. Fine, I'll go here then instead. Okay, I'll allow it since... Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's your turn, you ready? Next up is... Yeah. Actually, to be this genuine, you wouldn't actually know there's somebody there. Unless you went around the building to see. Well, can we make a perception check, or Roderick especially could, but I can say to see that if he you, hears the guy. I can say that you went there and peeked around the corner, so yeah. you did see him. Yeah, okay. Also, if he's doing anything at all noisy, we'd be able to hear it. Well, not yet, because it's barely, he hasn't even taken a turn. 
Okay. okay. Well, no, but what he was doing before combat started was, if it was, if that was noisy, we would hear. That's true. Yeah. They're all setting fire. Allegedly. Do we also we also get a stealth bonus because it's nighttime? It's going to be dark out. Is that something or no? No, actually, you get disadvantage on perception without dark vision. Oh, okay. Okay. But nothing to do with stealth. Um, unless your ability says you can. But I don't think anybody can do that. Okay, so... Uh, Corbett's turn is next. My turn next. Okay. Um, seems like we're all good here. Can I walk around to this side of the building over here? And kind of see what's going on in this region over here? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see. Oh my Can I, I mean, I'm, I'm pinging, like, over at this corner of the mill. Where is, oh. Uh, you can't see anything where you are now. You can just... But can I, walk, can, I, can I walk over there? Can I get over this kind of wheel thing here? Um, you probably have to go around it. You could try and jump over. Okay, yeah, I, I do have that ability, don't I? No, that's a spell. You could just do it like an athletics or no, not athletics, uh, acrobatics okay. check. Can I do that? Can I jump over the thing here? Yeah, make an acrobatics check. Sure. It's a big spinning wheel, so you'd probably be jumping right in the middle of the spoke area. Okay. Um, athletics. Okay, I'm gonna roll. Uh, sorry, not athletics. I, I meant acrobatics. Oh, okay. Um, I'm a new DM, so starting to okay. hang of things. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, a one. Oh, I'm okay. Gonna, how am I going to make this interesting? Okay, so you attempt to jump. You get scraped by the side of the wheel, and you fall. And, uh, take, let's say you take one piercing damage, and you oh. fall prone. Fall prone where I am right now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> where were you to begin with? Was it here? Uh, I was, yeah, I was in that spot. So that's one, two, three, twenty feet. What's your speed? Thirty, uh, right? I think it's I think it's 30, yeah. I'll just double check. Um, where do I see that in core stats? Um, 35. 35 speed. 35? Yeah. Wait, why did Magnus move that far? Uh, oh, sorry. I was just jumping ahead. That's what he's going to do. Okay, so yeah, Clubbeth is prone. Um, and you need half your speed to stand back up. So half 35 is, uh, 17. Do you have 17? Yeah. You don't have 17 left. You he has miss? 15. Yeah. So you can't stand up this turn, Can I move here then with my last 15? Right. When you're prone, you crawl, which means each square is 10 feet. Okay. So I can't stand up now, can I? No, but you could crawl because you go 10 and then No, you can only crawl one space then. Um I'll just crawl to here then. <laughs> <laughs> taking myself out of taking myself out of the fight trying to do something fancy. <laughs> okay, somebody uh Put uh, an email address in the chat. Is that for the giveaway? We'll do that at the end. Um, if you've donated, then you can enter. Nice. Okay, Magnus is just going to go here. It's Magnus's turn, right? Uh, yeah, it's Magnus's turn. Okay, he's going to run up here and ready his uh, avalanche blast as soon as the guy comes around the corner. Okay. So, yeah, uh, that's it then. Next up is Pipro. 
Super Bowl, here we go. And I'm just going to move down here as well and get my battle axe, my great axe. And what are you writing? Or... I'm writing my great axe just so that when the conflict happens, I'll be ready. So the trigger, what's the trigger? I don't know. Because <laughs> the great axe is melee. So are you saying if he comes within five feet of you, you want to attack? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So is that it? Yeah. Okay, so ready, ready, ready. Next up, that's the surprise. Next up is Roderick. Okay. Roderick's back at it. Um, I am going to use my movement and my dash to attempt to drag this guy further back towards the river. Movement and dash. So 50 so feet. Half of that would 25. be uh, 25. So yeah, 1, 2, 3. That's 20. And um, I'll just take him back one more. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. Can you not, can you not use your action to time up, Kevin? Yeah. To what? I think we should do that. Can Kevin now tie him up? Tie him up. Does he have rope? I'm not sure. Let me check my inventory, see if I have any rope or something I could use for... I have uh, rope. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, um, I've got 50 feet oh, of... Oh, you're right there. Yeah, Jacob, you could help him because you're right there. You're now five or ten feet away from the unconscious I will, guy. I will, I will log roll over to you. It's all good, guys. I've got yes. 50 feet of rope, so I think it's um, I've got plenty to time up. Okay, Jacob, so... you could log roll onto the unconscious cultist just to ho pin him down and hold him in place oh, no, while Robert okay. ties him up. Gonna, I put him in an arm bar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's unconscious and tied up. That's your act. Great. All right. And... and uh, uh, yeah. That's my turn. Okay, next up is the cultist that's not unconscious. Um, so, he is going to... See, finally I get to attack in this game. Um, he's going to... He doesn't know where you guys are, technically. So he's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to get slammed. Stop. Hammer time. Yeah. This is what, when I use my attack now, because he moved within five feet of me. Well, bonk. Unfortunately, 11. That is not... And it's not advantage because you didn't know where I was? Uh, well, you should roll stealth, technically, because uh, Okay. in case he hears you going there. But he doesn't get to act with okay. research. And it would be uh, with disadvantage because of your uh, armor. So nine. Let's see, nine. Unfortunately, here's a few of your footsteps as you're ready, and mm -hmm. you don't get advantage. But he does move, and you get to attack. So I'm going to use that same attack, uh, which would be 11. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. that does not hit. Darn. Okay, Magnus gets to Eldritch Blast him, though, as well, as soon as he's around the corner. Uh, right. You guys already did that. Okay, so Magnus, Eldritch Blast. That's a critical. Who? Uh, four. Four points of force damage. So as this cult just comes around the corner, he dodges your. Incoming Warhammer and just moves its head up to get blasted face full of green energy. 
Nice. And unfortunately, it does not kill him, but it does leave him scarred. And so now he's gonna take his turn and swing with his scimitar at the Dragonborn after just trying to attack him. So, let me check that. Okay. So, what's your AC? Active? My AC is 18. Oh, it just got an 18. So that just hits. So he takes his scimitar, slashes you across the chest, and it does... Um... 1d6. Okay, so... It does... 4 points of, uh... Slashing damage. Okay. And, uh, that's basically his turn. Because he doesn't want to move. Um, actually, he will move. Yeah. He's going to move. Right. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I get in shock of Christ's attunity then, because you moved out of my... Actually, you don't, because you use your reaction um, to do the ready attack. Really? Even though I saved my action for that? Yeah, you have to use your reaction to react outside your turn. Okay. You, you only have one reaction per turn. Mm-hmm. Per round, I mean. Okay, so that's going to be... The cultist. And next up uh, is Actress's turn. Okay. We go up here and womp him. Alright, womp away. Yeah, 12. Mm. And uh, 12 does hit. Okay, so 6 you, bludgeoning damage. You take your, your Warhammer, swing around, and smash the guy's face into smithereens. <laughs> Thank goodness we okay. took the one guy as a prisoner. Mm -hmm. He's dead. Okay, so as soon as that happens, I'm going to hustle straight up here to help tie up this guy. Why don't we tie him up and stash him, like, under the mill wheel? Wait, 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 you moved uh, 5, 10. Oh, wait. Well, I thought combat was over, so I just moved. So that's 10. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. I can only move this far during my actual turn. Okay. So now next is Cobbeth. Okay. Can my first move to be to stand up? Yes, so that'll take half your speed. So okay. that means you got 17 speed left. Okay. Which is about three squares in a bit. Okay, can I move to here and then tie up this guy if he's not tied up yet? He's, tied oh, up he's already tied logic. up. He's already tied up. Okay. Yeah, um, Roger Chris is actually going to do that. There's no windows on this side, is there? Uh, there is one window right here. Right there. And, okay. Uh, and Actus, from your position inside, you can see um, there's a loft, like an upper loft inside, uh, where flower mm -hmm. is expected to be. Uh, stored, and on the opposite side, like the western side, 
you can see some ropes and pulleys. And there's also stairs. Uh, currently, some stairs right there next to the window. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. you can see all of that, as well as an upper loft. You, you can just see the bottom floor of the loft. But there can, you is... see any... okay. can you see any bad guys in there? I uh, make a, from where you are, make a perception with disadvantage. Do you have dark vision? Me? No, uh, access. Me. Do you have dark vision? No. I think I might, actually. No, I just checked. Okay, no. No dark vision then. Only Chachalash. So yeah, you currently don't see anything. Um, there is a hole. Even if I had advantage, my result still would be seven. <laughs> there is a hole in the uh, loft where people hoist flour, which is about there, where the red square is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like a big hole where people hoist flour up to the top loft using ropes and pulleys. Okay, so Cobb is stood up. And... Can I just walk to here then? I'm just going to walk to the other side of the guy. Okay. And end my turn. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Magnus, your turn. Okay, um, Magnus will go around this way to look in the door. Okay, from there, um, uh, Make a stealth check. Hmm. Okay, so as you go towards the da door, uh, this mm -hmm. there is a um robed kind of figure and he just hears some commotion some maybe your loud footsteps your staff kind of hits the ground as you walk and uh he notices you and begins to get ready to uh they're going. There, okay. A robe figure. His hands are kind of moving. Oh, wait. Once I go around the corner, I have just moved. I haven't done an action yet. So if I see him, I can blast him, can't I? You could, yeah. He's 30 feet away. That's within normal range, right? The corner, yeah. the corner of the wall is blocking a bit. You'd have to move a bit closer. Well, I, I still have movement. I can go this way from the last one. Yeah, okay. That's on, still on the 25 feet. Okay. Okay. Northman Blast! Wow. Okay. Yeah, uh, you blast this real figure completely away. I'm not, sorry, not completely away. It hits him, and he staggers a bit, but he stays alive. Okay, next up uh, is this robed figure. He is going to see you, and look at you with some gleaming eyes and uh hold on one second 
just gonna look this up. And we will quit after, uh, before you guys enter the, uh, the mill, because okay. I know, I know Calabit has to go. I mean, Jacob has to go. Okay. Okay, yeah. okay so, he looks at you with his gleaming eyes, mm -hmm. and, uh, then he, uh, speaks some arcane word, and your mind suddenly feels like it's not your own. So please... Wisdom save? Uh, yes. Twenty-one. Nicely done. You go. Wow. Mark one up for the day. Control attack. spell resistance. Secret attack. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you begin. Your mind begins to go, but then you just shake it off because your mind is your own. And uh, seeing that, he's gonna be like, "Oh crap!" and go. Uh, there. Ugh. So Magnus, you. Okay, Magnus will shout to his comrades that the that there's an enemy moving to the northwest corner. Okay. Do you guys all hear that? I hear it. Yep. Roderick, you're Got next. It. I'm up next. Yeah, you don't know exactly okay. where he is, so. But once you get around, you'll see him. <clears throat> okay. Can I take up... Where I'm standing, am I able to see this corner of the building? From there? No. Uh, actually... Okay. Yeah, you could see through the wheel. You could Kevin, what if you walked up here? You might get a shot at him if you walked up here into the river. Right. Oh, is... How deep is the... I'm quite short. I don't. I doubt I'd be all the way right, right. to the river. Uh, it's only three, less than three feet deep. You'd have no problem. Oh, unfortunately, I'm just over three feet tall. <laughs> like mm. um, it's three feet at the deepest. So I'm gonna say that part is no problem for a halfling. Okay, because I'm three feet one inches tall. Yeah. So. I'm, so if I uh, move out, say, um, one, two, three, oh, wait, four, wait, 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 wait. five. Am I able to move here with my five steps? Where were you at the beginning? I was right here. Um, uh, with one, two. Okay, so technically... You entered the stream from the grassy part, right? Yes. So that means your speed is reduced, I think, by half, because the grass near the stream, is the, the brush, is very dense. Okay. So can... Once you enter oh, that okay. from the, the, the grass... In that case... I'm just going to stay on the shore here if I'm not going to be able to move that far. And okay. uh, keep an eye out for that uh, corner there. And then I'm going to... So are you ready your reaction to fire if, uh, if somebody yeah. comes around there? So do you want me to uh, roll my short bow right now? No, no, you roll if he comes around. Yeah. So um, as soon as anything comes around that corner... I'm going to instantly fire at it. Okay. Great. And uh, there's my turn. That's good. Uh, are you, you, you can dash, by the way, as a bonus action. Don't forget that. Um, so you I'm could, pretty happy with... You could I dash. like my position. It gives me a bit of uh, safety. Okay. Um, next up is No More Cultists. So next up is Actus. 
Um, okay. Can you go here and ready my and sacred flame? Okay, uh, I forgot to mention for both of you that uh, this wheel is covering a lot. So you could probably aim past it, but they would- How high up it. is it? How high? Let me check. How high is the, like, the hinge part of the wheel? The, the axle part? So, um, massive. It says massive. So, but I'm assuming pretty big. Well, the wheel itself is massive, but the the axle would be what, like five feet in diameter or something like that. Um. Yeah, I would still say half cover. Okay, but if I'm right next to it, I can just shoot over it, which I am. Yeah. Okay. I guess you're tall enough. I think Roger yeah. would still. Have yeah, Roderick is shorter than the axle probably because he's only three foot one, but I'm six foot six. Yeah, okay, so you have no problem if yeah. you go right up to it. And I will. Actually, Roderick, I think we might have three quarters cover because the stone part and the, uh, the axle. So it'd be a pretty tough shot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so actually you're gonna go right next to the to the and ready my sacred flame action. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna go right there. Uh, yeah. All right. Um. So now, Logic, I don't think you have any shot because. Axe is right in front. I think that would kind of be total cover. Yeah, I don't think he could shoot anyway, because how is, like, you know, I wouldn't be able to shoot a bow over a, an eight and a half foot wall, which is the equivalent of a five foot wall and a three foot one guy. So. Yeah, but yeah that's so. How you add cover. Okay, so I don't have a shot anymore. That's fine. Yeah, because I think you probably have. Slight chance to weave between a hole or something, but with access, I think that'd be total cover according to the grid rules. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, so that's access, reading sacred flame. Uh, Carbeth, it's up your turn. Okay, so how you said that it slows you down in the grass here? How much? Uh, half, half, I think. I'm gonna say half. Okay. Uh, how high? How high does my jump spell go? It, your jump spell, or your mm -hmm. normal jump? My jump spell. Uh, I think if I check, I put it in your spell book. Right. You touch a creature. Doesn't have to be you, but it can be, and it's tripled. So okay. your normal jump is, what's your strength? Um, strength is 12. 12? Yeah. So that means you can jump, here we go, jumping, you can do a long jump um, up to your strength. If you move 10 feet first and then jump. So okay. That, that means you can move how many feet up to your strength as a jump. Yeah. So triple that. Okay. So with but the, then that's my move. Then I can't do him. Uh, I can't shoot my bow after that, can I? That's, that's, uh, is jump an action or a bonus action? Let me check. Much. It's a action. So you okay. could 
it would let you jump 36 feet. Um, but that would be your action. What is the uh, the inspire bonus that we got from the uh, the people that are watching? What does that, that do? That will let you get advantage on an ability check, an attack, okay. or a saving throw. Okay, so I'm guessing there's no way that I can attack this guy due to the slow grass. Um, you don't currently know where it is, but if you went that general direction, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, no, you could maybe, wait, hold on, 30, 60, you could jump. So you move 10, 15, 20, and then off the grass, and then jump after you use a spell. 36 would be 7 squares. I would say you probably could. But then I, I don't even have an action after that anyways, so it's okay. Oh yeah, yeah um, no, you couldn't. Okay, so I'm going to move 10 here, 20 here, and then 5, 10, 15 up to here. Is that okay? Um, let's see. 35, 17. So you enter there. Yeah, that's just enough. Uh, okay, I, I don't have a clear shot at that guy, do I? Um... Let me see. I would say that you can see him, but you would have three quarters cover. Okay, I'll just um, ready my bow for if he turns the corner and end my turn. Okay. Next up is Magnus. Okay, Magnus will... Uh, he'll do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Blast! Nice. I, that's, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a goner. Well, not if I don't hit him. <laughs> These guys are real guys. They're very weak. Let's see. Yep, you blast the hell out of them. <laughs> Ten damage. Yeah. Wow. Boom. And he dies in a horrible green, fiery death. And I didn't even get to use cure wounds on himself. Which is what I was gonna do. Mm. Okay. All enemies are dead now. I think this is probably the best place to uh, to quit. What do you guys think? I'd Sounds say good. so. It's pretty much eight o'clock now. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Thank you to everybody who donated. You're amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so everyone much. for watching and your donations. Mm. You guys are on. So I'm gonna check the donate list and see about the raffle. So, awesome. we've got Brian, McPhails, Dan, uh, and Nick. So that's four people for the raffle. Okay. So for those who are watching, hopefully you guys are. And uh, in Versacal, is applauding. So, thanks for the applause. Um, I think that might be Rowan, right? Isn't that Rowan? Yeah. Anyway, thanks if that's Rowan. I think that is. I remember that username. So, um, Let's do the raffle. All right. N E G, he's a jerk. I'm not sure what that means. 
But anyway, um, let's do the raffle for four people. And how I'm going to do the raffle is. Somebody just donated. At the last second, I'm gonna count that. Greg Allen! Oh, hey, Greg! Oh, nice! Thanks, Greg. You're amazing. Thanks, Thanks so Greg. much, Greg. Thank you, Greg. We just, really do. Do just donated the nicotine for the, for the sweepstakes. So, uh, you might win a copy. Payday 2. So let's see if it, uh, we do this. So, um, please, if you're watching, enter exclamation mark and then raffle to please enter the raffle. That's what I would like you to do. Um, as a fail safe, I'm going to make a list of the people just in case. So, uh, yeah, just in case we're not there right now. All right, one person to the raffle. I'm just gonna put your names down. I'm gonna sign each of you a number if you don't all use the uh, raffle system. And uh, if, if you guys need to go, you know, feel free. I know it's getting late. Okay. Really well, thanks. Like oh, this is a great session, I think. I think it went really well. Yeah, yeah really. I think so too. We got so many donates. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm flabbergasted, cool. really. Yeah, I'm so happy. Awesome. Yeah. See you guys. See you, See you later, guys. See you. See you. Bye. Bye, Jacob. Hey. Okay, so Bye, everybody. I've got to go as well. Have a great evening. Right. So hopefully see you maybe next week or soon. All right. See you, Evan. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. All right. I'm going to continue the raffle. Yeah, I want to see you one more. Okay, so... I'm not sure if everybody is still watching, but if you are, please type in the chat, exclamation mark, and then raffle. I'm going to add everybody that donated the stream, uh, just in case. So. Greg. Okay, so and let's just check. Oh, you don't want to be part of the uh, stream? I'm sorry, not stream. The raffle? Well, that's, that's nice of you. I really <coughs> appreciate the donate, though. Okay, McPhail, so I'll, I'll take you off uh, the list. So that means we have four people. So... And I believe there is one more. Oh yeah, Dan, of course. Oh, that, that, sorry. Ralph is Dan. So, who's the person I'm missing? Is 
should be for excluding McPhails. Oh yeah, Brian. What was Brian's username? I'm just scrolling through the chat to see. Avalok, right. Okay, so... It looks like the, uh, the stream raffle. Um, you got, n not all of you have typed, um, exclamation mark raffle. So I'll do it the old school, cool way. With old school way, that's good. And that's with dice on the game itself. <laughs> so, Ralph, you are one. Greg Allen, you are two. Uh, Brian, aka Avalok, you are three, I believe. And... Oh, it's just between three of you. Because McPhail's... Oh, sorry, I'm Nick. I almost forgot about Nick. And Nick, uh... AKA used... used the master. Okay. It's all coming down to a 1d4. It looks like it is. So, Ralph, you are... One, Greg four, Brian three, I saw, oh my god, my brain, sorry about that. Ralph one, Greg two, Brian three, Yudemesta aka Nick four, okay? So, four people up for payday two, let's roll a d4 and see who wins? And I will do it not GM roll so everybody can see. Four. So the winner is Liz Demesta, aka Nick Breslin. So congrats, congratulations, Nick. Nick. Congrats. Enjoy. I'm not sure if he's still in the stream. I will uh, send a message to his Twitch account. Um, if he doesn't reply in, I'd say, a few days. Um, I also have him on Steam, I believe, because um, I know him. So I will also try that. Um, I'll redraw if. He uh, doesn't answer in like a week or so. So yeah, thank you very much, everybody. It was an awesome, awesome stream. We raised so much money. I'm so happy. This has been like really successful. My total extra life um, donations are Uh, out of 300, my goal, I raised 330. Wow. Nice. That's fantastic. And yeah. I started with 200 as my goal yesterday. So That's it, great. Thanks for setting all this up, Ari. You raised a lot of money. Yeah, you rock, man. Yeah. For BC Adrenaline Hospital. It really it makes me feel so good. They saved my life. I would not be here without them. That's amazing. Well, good job, man. And thanks everyone for donating. Yeah, thanks so much. This has been awesome. <sighs> wow. So, uh, yeah, who knows? I might do more streams, you know. Extra Life does not end right on this day. You can continue doing it to the end of the year. Oh, so, great. Who knows? I might decide to do it more. Uh, I think awesome. it's this is pretty successful. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm going to have to go now, guys. Yeah. I have yeah. To go now. Okay. 
Thank you for the awesome stream. This went really well. Yeah, yeah thanks for so. it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, have a good night, Simon and Ari. Uh, have a good night, everyone watching. Thank you for all the donations. It's been a great night. Yeah. Yeah. Later. Thank you for coming to play, too. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Okay, so I'm going to end the stream, and I'm going to send a message to uh, the winner. And... If he replies in a few days, and if not, I'll select another winner. So, uh, thank you very much. Have a great time. Thank you, Extra Life. This is awesome. $330 raised in two days. You guys are epic. Take care, and bye.